Nyack, New York. For a village of one square mile, it packs in a lot of culture and small town charm. We're 25 miles north of New York City, right on the Hudson River. But about three miles away from here is one of the biggest shopping malls in the entire country. So what are retailers doing, especially as the holiday shopping season kicks off, to get people to come here instead of there? Jen Laird White, the mayor of the spectacular village of Nyack. The mall is so close to here. It's one of the biggest malls in the entire country. So when it's holiday shopping time, how do you entice people to come here instead of going there? Well, the one thing we have that the mall doesn't is tremendous amounts of charm. You can shop in our quaint shops and actually stop and get an amazing meal owned by somebody local who's cooking with local food. It's really just a much more pleasant experience. I always joke, but it's true. I'm wearing almost entirely things purchased in Nyack, and I think people here have that kind of commitment to going to our local vendors when they can, avoiding them all when they can. Do people here work together to talk each other up? You know, Nyack is a very savvy place, and I think that you go to Gypsy Donuts, and, and Dave understands that his business is only going to succeed if the businesses around him succeed. We, we all get that, and, and so we all work hard for each other. David Schloss, Gypsy Donut, and Espresso Bar. Proudly in Nyack's downtown for almost two years. Each of the merchants has a responsibility to try and help make the whole of Nyack better, to get Nyack, the brand, more visible. And so for me, if there's another coffee shop next to me, down the street from me, that's not competition for me. The mall, that's competition for me. That's taking people away. Saying that another coffee shop isn't competition to you seems very gracious. People may go to my coffee shop one day and another coffee shop another day, but they're still going to go to a coffee shop. Uh, I don't feel that people going to another store is competition for me. Like we have, we as have, long as it's in Nyack. As long as it's in Nyack, that's right, because I want people to come back here. And so their first coffee of the day can be down the street, the second coffee of the day here. I really don't care as long as they're staying here. That benefits me, that benefits the other merchants as well. Beverly Gopin, owner of the Gallery of Metal and Stone, 20 years in Nyack. Do you do a lot of your shopping local? When you shop for the holidays, will you be doing it up and yes. down the street? Yes, yeah, I do. We all try to be there for each other, and believe it or not, if someone can't find something here, I'll tell them to go to the jewelry store down the block, because I want it to stay in town. And if they can't find it here, why shouldn't they be able to find it in another shop in town? Jack Donegan, Pickwick Bookshop, uh, 38 years in nine. A bookstore is kind of the quintessential kind of store that has disappeared from main streets across America. How have you survived? I think it's basically because I get here early in the morning and I work and stay here till late at night. So that's how it works. No, it's not how it works. You're, yes, you it are, does how it works. You are very casual about your success. No, I, but that's how it works. This is, a, you know, really, you have to be there. You have to, you know. Pay attention to customers, be part of the fabric of the community, and go to meetings, go to, you know, and you, people have to know who you are. And So do you think because you have a personal relationship, you know these people in this community, because of that they come here instead of buying their books online? I think it's one of the reasons why they will come here. They're still going to buy things online. You know, you can't take that away from the equation. However. We just had, we're that alternative. Paulette Ross, P. Ross, eight years on Main Street. You started a Nyack art walk that brings people into the downtown area. What was the purpose behind that? I wanted to combine art and culture, which we are so rich with here, with commerce. And a unique idea not to have anything on the street except the people walking, the visitors walking, and bringing them into the stores. Therefore, they discover a shop that they've never been in if they were coming to see the artist, if they were coming to shop, now they're getting cultured by viewing art. Does it take that to get people downtown, at least for the first time to get them shopping here, something other than just the stores? Um, I think it helps a lot because if you keep creating excitement, um, then people want to come and jump on the bandwagon, you know, and see what's going on. Maria Luisa Whittingham, Maria Luisa's boutique, 26 years in Nyack. Are you doing anything for Small Business Saturday? So what I'm doing is I actually am going to offer a percentage off of gifts cards online. And it was very successful last year. Additionally, in the store, we will have uh, events. We have our wish list program that we were going to kick off on that day. They select items. We take care of noting what the items are, color, size, etc. And any purchase made prior to one week before Christmas 
the purchaser also gets a 10% discount. Is this community doing anything as a whole for Small Business Saturday? There's a bunch of events planned, but I will tell you, you know, we're a community that's committed to small businesses all the time. We are always trying to find ways to boost business. It's definitely been a struggle, but, but it's one I think we're winning.